uh, as you can quite imagine, the uh, the logistical hurdles that we've uh, that we faced just getting everyone to continue playing uh, this year has been extraordinary, and um, I really, really feel strongly that our our admin uh, district, our school admin, the kids, all of our staff, uh, everyone has just really, really tried their very, very best to make sure that the uh, the experience for the students can be as as rich as possible. Uh, and we feel like tonight will just be a really good culmination of that. Um, we want this event to be not just ordinary, we don't necessarily want to return to normal, we want a return to extraordinary. Uh, and we want this concert and all of our experiences for all our kids to be truly extraordinary. So I just want to say that shout out. I also want to shout out a couple of special guests that are with us. Uh, we have the band director from Sandra Day O'Connor uh, that's with us here, Mr. Saloni, right in the back here. Can you give it up for Mr. Saloni? Uh, I see the band director is here from Boulder Creek High School, Mr. James O'Halloran, president elect of the VOTA. And uh, just that that community of district uh, band directors, of course, are incredible feeder teachers that make uh, that make this happen. Um, it, it's just a really special place to be. All right, a few things about the concert here before we get going. Uh, we are doing contactless programs. They are available on our website, mrhsband.net. Uh, it's on your ticket as well. So if you want to go through the program of events for this evening, I'll give you a second now to do that. Uh, mrhsband.net. And just scroll down to the bottom left. There's a, a thing that says concert information. And then you can click on the link to the actual program. That way you can follow along uh, with what's going on in the program. Uh, while you're doing that and you have your phone out, please take a moment to silence all cell phones and or smartwatches that could cause a distraction to the performance. Uh, parents with small children, like my own children, uh, if we can uh, please keep them seated. Uh, and if, if a, a child gets restless, uh, if you, you're welcome to remove them into the F building lobby. You're welcome to use uh, that lobby area just so we can keep, even though it's an outdoor concert, we can keep as much of this as, as professional and as, uh, as classic uh, for the students as we can. Uh, really appreciate your adherence to our campus and district safety rules. That's masks and social distancing. We're trying to model that from the students and the staff. If you could uh, abide by that, we'd much appreciate it. Um, and then in terms of the picnic tables, uh, if you can make sure that the picnic tables are one family only, that's our, that's our vision for the picnic tables and we're distanced out from the audiences. Okay, now on to the program. This evening, we will feature the Mountain Ridge High School percussion ensembles, our symphonic winds and bands, our ragtime ensemble, and the Mountain Ridge wind ensemble. The bands are under the direction of myself, Mr. Aaron Bobo, with assistance from Ivan De La Cruz, Todd Betts, Michelle Stolper, Katrina Clements, Gayar Gallardo, Spencer Brand, Kevin Bach, and Clark Chaffee. As I said, our principal is supported wonderfully by Principal David Vines and our superintendent, Dr. Curtis Finch. Uh, the first on the program this evening is going to be the Mountain Ridge High School Percussion Ensembles under the direction of Todd Betts. Their musical selections include, because it is May the 4th, be with you. It's, we're going to start the evening with a Star Wars medley by John Williams. Uh, we're going to do uh, a piece entitled The Earl King by Franz Schubert. And then we're going to be finishing up with Mercury from Gustav Holst's The Planets. Will you welcome, please, the Mountain Ridge High School Professional Ensembles and their conductor, Mr. Todd Betts.
to say a few words <clears throat> about the next arrangement we're going to do. The piece, uh, The Earl King, written by Franz Schubert back in, uh, I believe, 1818, if I remember right, uh, was originally written for voice and single piano. Uh, and it is based off of a poem and the old European folklore about the Earl King, who is the elder elf who has the dubious distinction of being the one that seems to take little children's souls when they're left alone in the forest. It's a really kind of a dark story. Sorry about that. Uh, but it's a wonderfully arranged for a percussion song. It works quite well because it's very rhythmic and has a lot of themes uh, that you can associate with. So I wanted to take a moment to play a few excerpts so you can kind of understand where the story is going. The story is um, a father and his son are on horseback going through the forest where they shouldn't be. And as they're trotting along, the son starts noticing that he sees this weird little character, the Earl King. Um, adults don't see the Earl King, only the kids. The tale is if the Earl King touches or gets to the son, to the child, the child will die and he gets his soul. So the story is we have five characters. We have the father, we have his son, we have a narrator, we have the Earl King, and a horse. <laughs> Those are the five characters. So you can hear all of them uh, throughout the music. This, again, was originally done for voice to sing the story and the poem. We don't have that. So I wanted to play a few excerpts again so you can identify with them. First thing is we're going to uh, identify so you can hear what the horse sounds like originally for the piano and for us. Measure one through four. What? Sounds like galloping, right? Yep, so that's our horse. Next is the main uh, Earl King theme. It's a little sinister. It does come up several times throughout the piece. Where are we Now the narrator comes in, you hear the melody of the narrator, who also says the words of the child and the father in our um, melodic upper voices, which is done with the vibraphone and the glockenspiel. 16 through 24, guys. him to get closer so he can get his soul. What's really devious about it is this crazy little evil little character tries to be all real cutesy. The music goes major, it sounds uh, childlike, kind of fun, and as also indicated you can tell with a lot of metallic percussion happening in the background. So this is a, an example of what happens when the Earl King is trying to get to the student. Here you go, letter D. Everybody, for letter D. So you hear a variation of that each time, three times, where it's a nice little major moment happening in the music. Finally, after each time that the Earl King is taunting after the, the child, the child cries out in terror to his father. Father, do you see him? Do you see him? He's right there. Father has no clue. That happens, right? He has no idea that he's there. But he, ter he just screams out in terror, and it sounds like this. for E. to what to listen 
support through the storyline, and we hope you enjoy this arrangement of Franz Schubert's The Earl King by the Mountain Ridge High School Percussion Ensemble.
called Mercury. It is a movement from Gustav Holst's uh, epic orchestral suite, The Planet. Uh, and it's arranged beautifully where the original piece is scored so well for woodwinds and the uh, string family, the highs and the lows, that it translates very well to all the percussion instruments where we have our very lowest end marimbas all the, all the way through the vibraphones, to the xylophones, up to our highest register in the glockenspiel. So it's scored really, really well. It's a difficult piece and they've done a marvelous piece with it. I hope you enjoy Mercury from Holst the Planet. Symphonic Wednesday Band and their conductor, Mr. Aaron Bogle. Uh, we had a broken oboe read here, so we're just going to pause just for one moment. Okay. Happens sometimes.
driving them to these, uh, you know, this concert and other rehearsals. Uh, I promise you, you're going to have to do a lot more driving here coming uh, uh, coming next fall. So there's, there's just a lot of driving, buying the reeds, buying instruments, paying for lessons, paying for, um, you know, that, that cork that got, that got ripped and, and all that kind of stuff. So parents, um, students, I would appreciate if you looked out to the audience towards your parents and gave them a huge round of applause for all the work that they do to make this happen. I'd like to take a, a moment to thank our staff. Uh, we have an incredible instructional staff, uh, Mr. De La Cruz, obviously Mr. Betts. Uh, we have uh, a number of our staff here with us tonight, so I just want to recognize them and point them out. Uh, our, our tuba and euphonium coach is here. Uh, his name is uh, Kevin Bach, if you can give it up for Kevin. Our uh, clarinet coach, Katrina Clements is here. Can you give it up for Katrina? Our trumpet coach, Spencer Brand, is here. If you can get up for Mr. Spencer. And uh, also, as a part of our, our staff here tonight, he's the choir teacher here. Uh, and him and a number of the other students are sitting in. Uh, uh, that is Mr. Dragomir, our choir coach, is here. Choir teacher.
All right, great. Um, I also just wanted to uh, let you guys know about, uh, you know, of course, our school admin, our superintendent, and then, um, as you as you noticed, we have music stand lights. Uh, these music stand lights are on loan to us for four zero dollars. Uh, they were loaned by, uh, and I want to I want to say his name out here publicly, by Jay Good, the director of operations at the Arizona Music Fest. Um, he he gifted all of the music stand lights to us for uh, for this concert tonight, and we're super appreciative of him uh, and for our uh, percussion director for Todd Betts for setting that up. So big round of applause for Jay Good and Todd Betts. Uh, in the last ensemble that we had, I did actually want to recognize a number of the students in that ensemble. Uh, we had students in our second and third band, so in the symphonic band, in the concert band, who made all region and all state. Just um, so we're on the same page with this, it's incredibly rare for students to make the all state band. That's, a, that's usually in a high school program, a you know one a year, two a year thing, and that we had more than that students in our younger ensembles. We had 15 students in all state this year. Uh, that's that's typically a decades-long achievement for many high school programs, and that was done just by these incredible students in one year. So, in my symphonic band and concert band, uh, and in my wind ensemble here, uh, we would like those students to stand uh, if they uh, were selected into the all-region or all-state band this year. So please stand and be recognized if you made it into all-region or all-state. We also have a few more special recognitions. Um, we have uh, a student in our in our younger ensemble, uh, and I'll, I'll announce the students in our older ensemble a little bit later in the program, but we have a student in our younger ensemble who was selected as the School Salute from Home Performer of the Week. This is for Cool 94 FM, and I just wanted to give him a shout out real quick. Uh, he was the recipient of the Fulton Homes $250 award for his patriotic rendition of our national anthem, and that's in our young band, Andy Tran, on the trombone. Andy, if you would stand up. And now we are ready for some more music. So the next uh, next ensemble on our program is the Mountain Ridge High School Ragtime Ensemble. Their musical selections uh, this evening are Rainbow Ripples, Chromatic Foxtrot, and Xylophonia. These are all by the famous uh, xylophonist George Hamilton Green and arranged by Bob Becker. Will you please welcome them, the Mountain Ridge High School Ragtime Ensemble, and their conductor, Mr. Todd Betts.
Wow. That was pretty good. <laughs> uh, just, just incredible. Um, I'm not sure what to say. Yeah, that's uh, just the, the kids this year and the resilience. Um, just so we're all on the same page, uh, the performance by the, the symphonic band, the concert band, we rehearsed that exactly twice in person together. The yeah, can you give it up for that? And not only did it, And uh, the wind ensemble, since they had a, a little trickier program, we rehearsed that exactly three times. So 50% more times. It's just unbelievable from the students. So great job, students. Uh, I have a few recognitions in here that I just want to, um, just again, shout out to the incredible students uh, of our band. Uh, once again, if, if you're in the ensemble and you made it into uh, the Arizona uh, All Region or All State Band, well, would you please stand up and be recognized just for our incredible kids uh, in, in both groups? Anyone who made that All Region or All State Band, stand up, please. Thank you. You may be seated. Uh, we also, um, uh, we had incredible kids that went after the Stolen Ensemble Festival this year, which was, um, which is all virtual, of course. Uh, and um, just want to uh, give a shout out and have them uh, stand if they receive the superior rating at that AMEA Stolen Ensemble rating, and for the students who won best overall, or the student, I should say, who won best overall, and our students who won the best in class. So uh, stand and be recognized, and uh, please give your applause for those students. AMEA Stolen Ensemble Festival. Uh, I'd also like to take a chance to recognize the students uh, in this ensemble who were chosen as that cool 95, uh, 94.5 uh, school salute from Home Performers of the Week uh, and uh, who each received $250 award. Uh, these students, if you would stand and be recognized, Allison Ritter, Hiram Davis, Cooper Taylor, and Tony Ruan. Give it up for these guys. And then uh, two more honors, and, and, and this is really a big deal, everyone. Um, uh, we had a student uh, that uh, both this year and last year uh, was selected for the all-national concert band. First alto saxophone in the country. Uh, been s just super blessed with all the kids here, and, and this student has just really wowed me, and, uh, and I think the national judges would agree. So uh, a member of that national, uh, national Association of Music Education, all-national concert band on first alto, Daryl Long. And uh, finally tonight, um, just the, the saxophone thing here at Mountain Ridge is off the charts, as I'm sure you know. Um, if you saw the concert uh, uh, last week with all our great small groups and, um, and, and, and also tonight, uh, we're, we're really, really blessed that we had a, a group of students, a quartet, that was selected to perform at the 2020 Midwest Clinic, Chicago, Illinois. This is the, the number one band event uh, for high school, college, middle school professional bands in the world. Uh, it's, it's the absolute number one event. And uh, we have our, our quartet that was selected this past year, of course, that, you know, that did not go with, uh, with COVID. And then we're really blessed to be taking uh, an, an underclassman group uh, you know, to this prestigious event, you know, obviously, uh, God willing, uh, in terms of what's going on. And so I just want to uh, shout out to both the, the upperclassmen quartet and the underclassmen quartet. So uh, both quartets, if you guys would stand up for the Midwest groups. Uh, this, this next tune, um, this whole program really is just um, tunes that we thought would be, how could we put, you know, the best music in front of our kids, especially when we only had exactly one concert, you know, this concert. And so uh, this next piece uh, is considered the, uh, this is the Mozart's, uh, you know, Symphony Number no. 41 or um, the Mahler First Symphony 4 band. Uh, this is the first Sweet Me Flat, Opus 28 by Gustav Holst. You heard his music earlier tonight with our percussion ensemble in Mercury. Uh, it's in three movements. Uh, if you hold your applause in between the movements, it's designed to be one big work. Uh, and it, it's truly a masterpiece. I, I hope you enjoy it, and we'll close our concert with it. This is uh, the whole first week in E-flat with the Mountain Ridge Wind Ensemble.
the long word. <laughs> now, if, those, uh, if the police sirens are for any of you, you can hide out in my office. It's a pretty, pretty good spot. And uh, we did want to mention that there is a uh, blue Tesla that has its doors open and its, uh, its uh, trunk open in the parking lot. So if you're, do you have a blue Tesla? Uh, it's not my car. Uh, if you've got one, it's in the parking lot right now. Ready?
can we just give one more round of applause for all the students out here this evening? Have a great rest of your evening. Thank you, folks.